Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, uh, passion, research, persistence and patience are required if you want to be one of the uh, very best collectors of the finest timepieces. And today my friend, the collector here in Hong Kong is sharing with us uh, three exceptional timepieces that he has managed to acquire recently. And uh, we're going to start with the uh, Lane V38 Guilloche. A beautiful 38 millimeter watch as you can see at the center different textures of guilloche with a personalized uh, dial uh, inspired by the junk boats of hong kong beautiful uh, balance and note the, the hands sun and moon as well as the uh, frosting around the brigade numerals uh, turning this beautiful watch around uh, we have a uh, caliber voche 5401 with its uh, highest level of finishing available. You can see the beautifully engraved tungsten rotor and the lovely shapes of the bridges. Uh, this caliber classic uh, runs at uh, 3 hertz, uh, 29 rubies, and a power reserve of 48 hours. The case, as you will see, is, uh, is very uh, thin as a result of the usage of this, uh, this uh, beautiful uh, caliber. So in terms of the dimensions, uh, the watch is uh, 38 uh, millimeters with a thickness of only uh, about 9 millimeters and the uh, lock tip to uh, lock tip 45 millimeters. So Torsti Lane is a Finnish uh, watchmaker who graduated from the prestigious uh, Finnish school of uh, watchmaking. He worked alongside, of course, Longer und Zona in Germany and Wutilainen in Switzerland. He has established his uh, workshop in uh, Neuchâtel uh, by way of La Chaux de Fonds. Those are very close to each other. And uh, he's the recipient of the uh, famous Longer Watchmaking Excellence Award uh, in 2014, uh, which offered the highest monetary award of any watchmaking competition on the wrist. As you can see, uh, and as I said, very well balanced uh, design for a time only uh, with small second watch. And everything can be customized. Uh, the pricing of those watches is around uh, 11,500 Swiss francs, depends a bit on the type of uh, dial that you are asking from Torsti Lane. Uh, moving on with a watch that is absolutely uh, unique. Uh, this was the actual property of the watchmaker Nicolas de la Loi. This is a Garde du Temps in uh, red gold, 41 millimeters. But just look at the incredible guilloche dial. There is guilloche, there is guilloche, and then there is this uh, guilloche uh, so intricate so enthralling and complex uh, apparently the watchmaker says that uh, not only was it uh, there's only one of these uh, that was made and uh, but he says that uh, nobody right now in switzerland could actually execute it again so um, it is uh, complemented by uh, red gold uh, Breguet numerals as well. And at the back, uh, we have the uh, watchmaker's own uh, base uh, movement, the ND01, uh, which has a wide uh, reserve, uh, power reserve, uh, 72 hours. It runs at uh, 18,000 uh, VPH and very traditional in the finishing. As you can see, it has the uh, Poisson uh, de Maître, so a seal uh, reserved to the uh, very best of uh, finishing uh, in the tradition of uh, Geneva. So this watch is a superlative in, uh, in many ways and I believe the uh, small seconds of dial is in a mother of a pearl. Uh, so you can imagine to acquire something like this from the watchmaker himself you need to uh, to know him very well and that is the case for our friend uh, collector the watch uh, 41 by uh, about 11 and a half uh, millimeters very uh, very unique uh, indeed and uh, once you get to this uh, level of um, of watch in your collection well why, why what is there uh, beyond it it's, it's uh, beyond uh, special and uh, beautiful with those uh, nice breaker numerals. Uh, so Nicolas de la Loi is coming back. So he's well known for having started his brand, created his uh, tractor movement. 
Uh, he's of the same uh, cloth uh, as the uh, the very uh, best uh, watchmakers. Uh, he's branded and flourish uh, maybe, and uh, he worked. Uh, for a long time in the uh, Patek Philippe Museum, uh, but there is a revival uh, right now of uh, his brand. He's uh, making uh, new watches in the same style. Uh, different sizes are, are were available and will be available. Uh, this is the larger one. There will be uh, smaller versions uh, as well. But this is not one of the new watches. This one of this is one of the original ones, and. Uh, yeah, quite a thrill to be able to put this uh, on my wrist. Uh, thank to, thanks to my friend, the collector. And the third outrageous watch is uh, by uh, Longun Heine, whom I uh, introduced uh, you to in previous videos. Uh, this one uh, is the Frédéric II uh, limited edition of nine pieces, celebrating nine years of partnership with their retailer in Hong Kong, the Lavish Attic, a specialist in independent uh, watches. For this uh, limited edition, uh, the brand was challenged to its core and there are three uh, never done before innovations here. The first one uh, is on the dial side. Uh, the black dial is actually made of enamel, which the brand does in-house, but they always avoided black because it accepts no imperfection. Uh, so a new technology allowed them to um, cut uh, solid glass enamel discs, two of them, one for the subdial, one for the main dial. They would be affixed to a metal carrier and a highly polished uh, disc cannot be fired again. So the printing was done with high quality lacquer. Now look at the hands. They are filled with a superluminova super as well as the indices. Uh, they indicate the time very uh, precisely, uh, those lancet hands. Uh, now let's look at the uh, subdial. So the small second hand, as you can see, jumps every second, which uh, takes us to the second innovation for this watch uh, remontoire uh, with a jump of seconds which is affixed to the uh, escape wheel and for the first time it is done on a small second uh, sub dial uh, the brand had never done this uh, before so the remontoire is also known as the uh, constant force uh, mechanism compensating for the decreasing force of the mainspring and every five semi-oscillations its energy tensions a storage spring which transfers its force to the escapement bit by bit so the result is uh, that the amplitude of the balance uh, remains constant throughout uh, the day and the third brand new thing uh, for this uh, incredible uh, limited edition is that the movement is made of a medium hard titanium of purity grade 2 uh, which has challenged uh, everything about uh, the build uh, because uh, the chamfers had to be uh, polished with wood and polishing paste and the poor friction behavior required a redesign of the bearings of all the parts that were usually uh, mounted on the brace parts of the, the movement. Uh, separate bronze bearings are used for the, the barrel and the winding stem and uh, all sorts of uh, other challenges uh, in the, the finishing but you can see uh, you get the same beautiful finishing you always get with Long Un, uh, Un Heine and the balance cock as well is uh, finished with uh, and you have the diamond on top there of the uh, of the balance uh, wheel and uh, the screws you will notice are heated to a purple hue to a better match uh, the the tone of this uh, titanium uh, movement uh, so the movement is the caliber uh, 6-1 uh, on the wrist the watch is absolutely beautiful and i really like how the uh, the enamel uh, the black enamel dial uh, marries uh, with uh, the white gold of the, the case uh, in terms of the uh, dimension. Uh, uh, the watch is obviously uh, well proportioned at 38 uh, millimeters, uh, very uh, thin uh, as well as it should for an elegant watch, uh, 10 millimeters uh, with the classic uh, triple lugs of Long and Heiner. So tell me guys what you think about those three exceptional timepieces. Thanks again to the collector for sharing them with us. Bye bye.